Once was a time when I had to either trust what go the doctor said or trust what God was going to do. And I was given a less than 20% chance of survival. So what is faith over fear? He replied, because you have so little faith, truly I tell you, you, you have faith as small as a mustard seed. You can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Matthew chapter 17 verse 20. So a muscle that needs to be worked. So when you are sitting in a doctor's office, a hospital, a home, or a mountaintop, the faith muscle must be worked. It needs to be exercised, not just as much as your biceps or glutes, but even more so, so that it's strong enough when doubt starts to come in, it will strike it down in Jesus' name. That is the choice we have to stand with God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit, or to sit with the enemy. And I know that I am not sitting, so here are five ways to help strengthen that faith muscle. First, gratitude for the gospel. So what I am saying here is that having a grateful heart and really enjoying the gospel Every piece of scripture, really, but especially the gospel. In these, especially, you will find our Savior, Jesus, talking and overcoming fear with his faith. What better example? Gratitude, in general, really starts to shift our mindset, and God's breathed words will help you. Even writing a few down in your notes in, in your phone and having them for later will help to reference and help ups and downs strengthen that faith muscle. To surrounding yourself with a community of faith. Now, this will look different for everyone. It doesn't necessarily mean that when we're all conjured in a huddled group and play monkey in the middle. It could mean playing your favorite faith station on the radio and being a part of that community with the, with the included apps. It could be a part of a local church. It could be groups. It could be this church right here on YouTube. It, it, it doesn't have to be seven days a week with others. It, it's what God wants with your journey. Not what others say, meaning pray for his guidance and he will help you find the best for you and your family as well. Remember that for where two or three gather in my name, there I am with them. Matthew chapter 18 verse 20, because God knew there was going to come a day when not everyone was going to be able to social anxiety, PTSD, CPTSD, mood disorders, neurodevelopment and neurocognitive disorders, sleep and wake disorders, just to name a few. However, he knew that every one of us deserved a way to worship. Three, prayer, prayer, prayer. Honestly, this is the lifeline to God. This is your conversation opener and how you get all your thoughts to him. When we pray every day and make it a habit, it not just helps our relationship with him. It helps our feeble human minds to understand that we can trust the very God that has done and performed miracles. However, if you're not talking to him and strengthening it, kind of the same thing about working out if you're not putting in the working your biceps or your glutes and you won't see the results so pray through it over it under it sideways backwards if need be pray in the morning pray in the afternoon pray at night four scripture writing down on a note card or in the notes of your phone to reference back to later is a great and fast way to have scripture handy as well you could download a bible app and carry it with you always i have one of those i highlight different verses with different colors it's absolutely wonderful. And I have done it for years now because where I live, the elements can get my Bible wet and phones come with cases. And I want to strengthen my faith muscle. Five actions. So your comfort zone is just that, a comfort zone. If you stay in, in it, your faith stays the same. And God calls us out into the waters that we can't touch because he knows that he is the life jacket. He is, isn't worried. You are. So in order for your faith muscle to grow is action that needs to happen. Same thing back to that bicep and glutes. In order for them to grow, you have to work them. The action. And growing muscle can be very painful and scary at times. However, once the faith muscle starts getting bigger, you'll get that confidence in God. Shifting your mindset and trust the faith and putting your trust fully into God, knowing that Jesus has your back. So don't let humans tell you what or where to put your faith. Remember that with God, even a little faith can move a mountain. We went over five ways to help you grow that faith muscle. And so work it. So subscribe, hit the bell, and come back, brothers and sisters, for more motivational content at Jan.